Okay, so I'm making this really quick video, or hopefully it'll be really quick. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because today at work, a few things actually happened that really bothered me today. Um, I, I'll probably, this this whole day will probably sprout into a few videos that I'll actually be able to do within the, within this next week. I might actually do some videos outside tomorrow, because I actually have a day off, thank God, tomorrow. Um, but the one thing that happened today that really bothered bothered me um was a kind of a I work in retail first of all I'll start off with that I work in retail and I work in a retail store we carry all kinds of clothing men women kids and all that jazz um I'm not gonna get into too much detail of it but um a mother came into the section that I was working today with her daughter and the sad part was was the fact that the mother clearly could see that her daughter had a weight issue, but the one thing that really bothered me is the fact that the daughter was obviously young, like, she was a lot younger, she could have been maybe eight or nine, just about, just like, you know, a little, a young girl, like, a young sprouting girl, and she had a bit of, you could tell that she had a bit of a weight issue, nothing severe, but something, like, she clearly had a little bit more weight on her, um, the one problem, the first problem that I have with that is the fact that at that young age, parents have so much control over their children, what they eat, where they eat, how much they eat, and w teaching them the importance of eating healthy. Now, I grew up in a household where pretty much almost everything was cooked fresh. Yes, it's very difficult for busy parents to, with busy schedule, and especially if you've got more than one child, I completely can understand where you come from when you can't maybe necessarily cook every single night fresh. I came from a family that did cook fresh. My mom still, to this day, cooks pretty much everything from scratch. I did... I did eat junk food as a kid. Sure, I ate McDonald's. Sure, there were always chips in the house. Yes, there was pop. That was always my one pretty much big issue is I could drink liters of pop within a day. I could drink five or six cans of iced tea or Nest tea within a single day, no problem. Within a few hours of me being home from school. And thank God my mom took that out of the house eventually because probably at this point in my life, I probably would have had I would have been diabetic probably at some point of this point in my life but the one problem that really bothered me was the fact that this mother was almost looking at her daughter and throwing out these slight comments of the fact that clearly she the daughter had put on a coat at one point and the mother was clearly making comments because it clearly didn't help her the look of her body to be blunt it clearly made her look bigger than she even already was on top of that so it clearly wasn't making her look right but the fact that the mother blatantly kind of just stood there and made that kind of comment to her young daughter yeah there's a portion of the fact that your daughter is looking the way she's looking and a portion of that problem is because it's your fault and I just don't understand where parents, there have been, I ended up standing around talking to one of the other girls that I work with, and we ended up talking about, um, we had this great conversation that sprouted all into, like, conversation, like, this whole conversation about girls and body image, and the way we feel about ourselves growing up, and the way we look at ourselves, and that's a whole other conversation, and maybe I'll make that into a whole other video, but the fact that this young girl kind of just had to stand there and take the crap that her mom was giving her. It's just like, who are you to stand there and belittle your young daughter? It's like, it's your baby. You're the one that made her look like that. You're the one that taught her bad habits. It's like, where where the hell were you in the last nine years of her life? You popped her out. It's like, sometimes, it's horrible to say, but sometimes I feel like these people, the way they treat some of their kids, or at least the way I see them treat their kids, some of the, the parents that bring their kids into the store, it's just like, you don't deserve the right to reproduce. And I know that's harsh, and that's really, that's really hard to say on a parent, but it's just like, how do you treat a young girl like that? It's like, you're not going to make her feel better about herself when you say stuff like that. There's a place to say something in the right way, and there's 
uh, also another place to, you know, not say something like that. I, I don't, I don't know. It, it baffled me the fact that the mother kind of stood there and kind of just made that kind of comment and kind of, I'm pretty sure I'm probably embarrassed that young girl. And I don't know. It, I, I grew up being a healthy weight for the most part. I never really realized my weight. I never looked in the mirror and I didn't really notice my body, my own body weight or the way I looked for actually a really long time. I think I may have noticed at one point after hitting puberty when my hips decided to drop and I got a butt um, when my pants started not fitting and that was a very frustrating point in my life but eventually I got over it. It, it eventually went away. And then I think the next point in my life when I realized anything about my body was in high school, maybe the 11th grade, towards the end of the 11th grade. But even then, it never really bothered me. The only time I really realized my body weight was, I think, until I hit university, when I really noticed how bad my habits were. And eventually, I started noticing I was getting sick a lot because I became a vegetarian after in grade 12. And being a vegetarian is a great way to learn how to eat properly because I started realizing just how much I was eating and how how to watch what I'm eating and eating healthier. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can still eat really crappy food as a vegetarian, but it takes a little bit more watching, I guess, in a sense. I didn't end up doing the diet properly, and there definitely is a diet to being a vegetarian and a proper vegetarian, making sure you're getting the right nutrients, and that's in the end, I wasn't watching my weight, which was a huge problem, and that's how I, it ended up working against me. I'm sure in the future, if I ever want to be a vegetarian ever again, it wouldn't be very difficult for me, because it wasn't very difficult for me to, in the beginning. But the fact that it made it did help me watch what I was eating, and even now, I make sure that I, you know, I don't watch every single thing that I eat, but I make sure to not overeat, and that's kind of the big you know, to all those diets, all those huge, you know, secrets on dieting, that's the number one secret is portion and trying to eat healthier. Yeah, sometimes you can eat junk food. Yeah, you can have ice cream. Sometimes, yes, you can have chips or you can have popcorn, but it's all about portion. It's all about not overeating. That's the huge secret. And for people, especially girls and guys, whoever out there, you know what? I'm not meant to be a size zero, and I've accepted that. I will never ever be a size zero. I am maybe smaller on top. Like I don't have, I don't have a big chest, which I've also accepted about myself. But I have a huge ass. <laughs> For a white girl, I have a really big butt, and I will never be a size zero pant. And if I am a, ever a size zero pant, there is something severely wrong, and I will probably be in the hospital dying because. Being a size zero isn't necessarily healthy for everybody. Some girls are extremely petite. Yes, some girls just can't gain the weight. And I've been friends with a ton of those girls where they just can, they will eat a ton of junk food or they will eat a ton of just food and they will not put an ounce of weight on. And sometimes that's just how people's bodies are. At the end of the day, I just wanted to get that out there. It's just maybe parents, you know, watch what your kids eat and try and install better eating habits into your kids when they're younger because they will learn from that. And mothers, when you take your daughters out shopping, don't belittle them in public. Like, that will do nothing for those, their self-esteem. And same with dads. I know dads will, are can be pretty harsh on their, their sons in other ways as well. Parents, if you're not ready to be parents, don't be parents. Don't become parents. Because it will do nothing for your child if you don't have a fucking clue how to respect another human being. Cherish the fact that you have a child and treat them with the utmost respect. And then, in turn, you will get that same respect down the line in the future. And that's all I really wanted to get out. It was a slight rant that I really needed to get out. Um, leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, if you guys want to have any questions and you want to email me, I'll leave my email address or tweet at me. I will leave my Twitter down below. Um, and that's about it. It's a fantastic day outside today. It was apparently amazing weather and the fact that the last like 20 minutes that I spent getting home was just the, the few minutes I spent outside. It's fucking amazing weather and I'm so excited. Tomorrow I'm probably going to try and spend the entire day outside. Um, but that's it. 
that's about it for right now. I hope all of you are having a wonderful Sunday or whatever day it is out there. And have a good day, you guys.